Godfrey Okoye University, in conjunction with Institute of Psychology and Peace Foundation, held her 10th anniversary for Annual Youth Peace Conference on Tuesday, October 25, 2022. The 10th anniversary route attracted noble men and women, including school children from Daughters of Divine Love Junior Rate, Godfrey Okoye University Secondary School, Holy Rosary College, Spring of Life, Notre Dame Secondary School, all in the city of Enugu. According to the Vice Chancellor in his opening, Opening remark, the annual peace conference, which is an initiative of late Reverend Sister Gloria Njoko, and since the inception of the peace conference, the conference has brought so many dignitaries to the university. This peace conference is an initiative of late Sister Professor Dr. Mary Gloria Njoko. She started this project with me, and she has continued it from heaven where she is enjoying herself. Because of her deep involvement in this conference, and also because she initiated the idea of this conference, we will want to, it's not only going to be just the Gloria Lecture in honor, but now we're going to be fully called Sister Professor Mary Gloria John Peace Conference. That's the new name. She can never be forgotten in Africa University. Since its inception, this conference, this peace conference, has brought so many personnel and schools to our university and giving participants the opportunity to reflect on peace, initiatives and actions that will promote peace in our schools and society. The key speaker, Honorable Chima Obieze, member in the House of Assembly, who speaks on peace and self-awareness, described peace as the absence of war, chaos and fight. He also gave historical insights about great leaders who are apostles of peace and have advocated and dedicated their life in order for peace to reign in their countries. We define peace as relative absence of wars and kills and fights. You enter a class, and everybody is seated peacefully in the class. There's no noise, there's no fights. You see that there's peace in this class. However, it is that the class prefect, or perhaps someone older than the others in the class, who is a bully, have punished some persons in the class who should be crying to seek for justice. But they are threatening that if you report to the teacher, when the teacher goes out, you are dead. And they should quiet. Because they are scared of what will happen to them when the teacher leaves. Professor Eze, the recipient of award for Ambassador for Peace. <laughs> Professor Eze also spoke with Ogama TV, expressing his profound gratitude. I feel so happy and so thankful to the Institute of Psychology and Peace of Godfrey Okoye University. The Vice Chancellor of the University also spoke with Ogama TV. My father, Professor Christian Reto, the Vice Chancellor of Godfrey Okoye University, he said it and the speaker Reto that you cannot give what you don't have. If the law says peace be with you and you don't have the peace, please, uh, yes, you have a problem. Jesus gives you peace and you have not received it. You know? And you know, he says, I stand at the door and knock if anybody opens the door or come in and live with him. It's possible that you're a Christian but you have not opened the door. That may be the reason why you don't have peace. But I am convinced that when you have peace, then you can give it. That is part of spiritual awareness. When you have it, then you can actually give to others what you have. So if somebody is a Christian and doesn't have peace, then it's either the person is not willing to be a Christian or the person has left the door uh, closed. Look at what is happening in Russia and in Ukraine. And when you ask yourself why they are fighting this war, you understand that it is because the ego of one or two men or three men somewhere we are punctured and because of it, in order to defend their ego and to answer the name of warlords and war heroes, they declared war and people are dying and children are dying. And you see, it doesn't make sense. There's no nothing in this world. There's a song I was listening to when I was preparing for this speech, you know, called Bot Borderline by Chris DeBoer. In one of the standards of the song, he said he was looking at boys who were going to fight in the Second World War. And then he said that these are only boys, that he would never understand how men see the wisdom in war. I have a number of youths as my mentee, as my friends, 
and I call them my brothers, and they all know my stand in politics. It's non-violent. I, I, I cannot do anything ungodly to get power. And anybody, anybody who must push you into doing something ungodly in order to give you power doesn't like you. So I, I've told the youth to shun violence, shun chaos, shun anarchy.